All right, let's let's give one more minute. I'm usually right on the money time, but Jordana texted. She goes, "What time?" Um, I gotta stop buying crap on Facebook Marketplace. I gotta stop. It's your movie. What's that? I said I feel like your activity on there is going to increase since you're moving. I uh, it's been so bad the last week, and I'm like, stop spending, you crazy weirdo. Um. Oh my gosh, I I was putting something into storage. We had this storage unit from my, when my mom closed. Anyway, and I got there at like eight o'clock in the morning to put some stuff in there. And I kid you not, a man crawled out of one of the little storage units that's like this wide, this tall. I shocked him. He shocked me. You said a man? He was living, he's living in a thing. I've heard that's a thing and you can do it if you don't get caught. <laughs> you don't get caught. It scared the bejesus out of me. He looked at me, I looked at him, and then we both acted like we didn't see each other. We just kept <laughs> on doing our own business. <laughs> Look, hi, Miss Libby. Hi, Libby Pop. What are you doing? Why aren't you in school? It is Indigenous People's Day. Hi, Brian. Yes, an amazing, amazing day off. It is that. For you, for moms. Yes. Okay. All right, everybody. It's 11.02. Y'all know me. I was going to start, but I'm glad I waited so y'all could join in. Um, welcome to our Monday Market Call. It is October 14th, 2024, and here are the numbers we're tracking today. So total active listings, 2,349. Um, there were only 2,006 the same week last year. So we've got a 19%, 19 point swing. We're 17% up over last year. Um, there are about 130 up over 2022. So we are for sure in a balancing market. Like that's where we've been headed. Uh, total listings in the last seven days were at 268, <clears throat> which is 12% up from last year. Total pendings, 248. That's 1% down from last year and a substantial de um, decrease from 2022. I don't have that percentage here in front of me, but um, 248 this last week, 250 last year, so not much, and then 294 the year before that. So we were definitely yeah. red there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Total sold in the last seven days, 139, which is 1% down. Huge swing from last week. We were at 17% up last week, and now we're at 1% in the red. That's not really so um, 40 days, average days on market. We oh, saw quite a few um, million-dollar properties, so the average price point is 359167 Total number of price reductions, uh, 688. We're starting to see the comparable number from last year match up to where we're at now in number of price reductions. So last year, 606, but in 2022, 297. Uh, we are seeing a little bit of a reduction, almost a full point in the sales price to list price ratio, again, in Allegheny County. Total number of expireds, 152, which is exactly what it was this same time last year. The year before that was only 53. So three times the amount from 2022 in expireds. Total number of agents, we have seven more individuals in West Penn multi-list from last week. Um, we have, let's see, 350 fewer individuals in the MLS since last year. Um, and Holland Mortgage is um, advertising 7% in um, on the interest rates. I don't know about y'all, but I'm seeing lower than that. Uh, obviously, last week I told y'all um, about a loan I'm at at 5.75. Um, but again, I just think that's interesting that we saw that go up from 6.75 um, for Holland. So again, that can just depend on some other factors, but showing 7%. Does anybody have any questions? Without question, I'm going to beat this dead horse. Hold on one second, Bianca. I'm going to beat this dead horse. 
You should be having some realistic conversations with your sellers about pricing. As we see these average days on market, ink up, inch, inch, inch up into the 40s. Um, and a, let's see, 2.4% difference between sales price and list price. Um, we should be, you know, having conversations. Yes, Bianca. Where is negative 39% coming from? This 39% is um, from this number. So uh. this, these are 2023. 20, I just put these down here as a quick view for me because right. sometimes I'm having to page all the way up. So this is 2022's numbers. This is 2023's numbers. So this number is comping against this number. Yeah. It goes from the previous year. So it was, you know, 168 was the 2022 number. 140 was that number. And when you're only talking about in the 100s versus like when we were back post COVID, like total solds, look at that. Like in August of 2022, 283, we were in the 200s and um, let me page down and we're now at 139. Like that's not a lot of big numbers for just Allegheny County, right? If you asked me, oh, how many, I would think Allegheny County is so big and there's so many properties, but yeah, this is the thing, right? Let's look at this real quick as a bird's eye. Look at these numbers in the black here. Active, active, increasing, increasing here, total active numbers. And then look at the sold and pendings. Red, 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 red here, all the way back to February, really even January for total souls. So um, we have definitely been balancing things out. Any other questions, y'all? Okie dokie. It was great seeing you. Thank you for popping in. Brian, Olivia, I hope you enjoy this beautiful Monday that's cloudy and rainy. Thanks, everybody. Bye.